morning good morning all you awesome and wonderful beautiful women of god so glad to have y'all on it has been an interesting morning for me we have been dealing with all kinds of technology issues but god is a good guy good morning good morning we are adding in our facebook tribe now um periscope locked me out of my account they were like you need to sign back in we can't find an account for you I'm like, Lord Jesus, what is going on this morning? So we are back in. So that's what took me so long to try to figure out how to get back into my account. I wasn't sure how I initially signed up for Periscope um, when Periscope first started. Good morning, Regina. Good morning, ladies. And I realized I signed up. There was a time where you couldn't sign up for Periscope unless you had a Twitter or yeah, Twitter account. And so it forced me to get a Twitter account. Clearly, I don't use Twitter either, right? So I was trying to sign in this morning and it just wouldn't work. So the lesson, my lesson this morning came out of me attempting to do what I know God told me to do each and every morning, which means that there is a provision, right? There's always a provision, even when stuff is um, seemingly impossible. So as I got up this morning and I'm putting on the stuff that I need to put on and I'm putting things in place and I'm trying to do what I know I'm supposed to do, but I'm having pushback. There's issues that are happening. There's stuff that's coming up. It's not allowing me to get things together. I can't get things to sign in the way it needs to sign in. And guess what? God still gave me a mandate of what he needed me to do each and every day. He still told me what he needed me to do. Good morning, ladies. I see you all jumping in and jumping on. And, um, you know, it, it, it made me have to sit back and say, okay, do I throw in the towel and say, well, we just won't get our confession in today. We just go watch a replay. <laughs> go listen to a replay. Or do I know and, and expect there to be a solution because if God gave us a mandate if he told us to do something that must mean there's, there's a solution there is provision and so as i'm going through the process of trying to figure this out i'm already late guess what we're late i can't seem to pull the scriptures up so facebook doesn't have a scripture either <laughs> i can't get scriptures to show up i can't get things to work i'm trying to get into periscope right and you know, do I just throw in the towel? And so there may be, um, she said, no, social media is absolutely tripping. It absolutely is. And so I just let, what do you do? And so for those of you who are on Periscope, if you are having a hard time hearing, um, see if you can connect into Facebook. Uh, we are live on the Facebook channel as well. Um, but the reality of it is that whenever God has given us um instruction there's provision there's always provision and provision will show up and so facebook is better you said you're in and out as well so let me see if i can go in and come back out y'all i'm gonna try it again on here since we don't have a thing anyway let me see if i can try it we're gonna we're gonna try it and see if it works okay so as we continue to walk out even when technology issues show up um, it is a lesson for us to understand that even when issues um, they when issues arrive, when issues show up, when issues become um, a deal, do you throw in the towel? Do you say, "Well, never mind," because um, you know, yeah, this this should be you know different. Do you throw in the towel because you are expecting a sweatless process? Do you throw in the towel because it, it's not happening the way you desire for it to happen. Is it better, Periscope? Y'all, can y'all hear now? Let's see if it's a better connection. Hopefully it's a better connection, ladies. Um, but what I will say, you switch uh, you switch as well, but I'm going to get get it done. Amen. Say a little bit better. All right. <laughs> My sister said it's a little bit better. Well, we're going to get it done. We're going we gonna to make it happen however it needs to happen. Um, and... We just continue to push forward. It's easy for us to just throw in the towel when it's not working. When we are, we've tried it, it didn't work. We've 
attempted to make it happen, but it didn't happen. It's easy for us to throw in a towel because we feel like it should. After I tried, you know, um, you know, the, the world has given us these these sports analogies and we run after these sports analogies. And even our political system sometimes run after the sports analogies, which is three strikes out. I'll try it once, I'll try it twice, but the third time, if it don't work, I'm finished. The reality is that we would not have incandescent lights, light bulbs, if he would have said, you know, after the third time, I'm not doing this no more. I'm not going to try to have a light bulb after the third time. He had to go a hundred times before he actually got the light bulb. And so we got to understand that we can't use, always use sports analogies to give up, cave in, or quit on the things that God has called us for. So that being said, what are you believing God for financially? You know, this is one of those kind of conversations that I have with myself consistently. Like I am believing God for not only increase, we talked about that yesterday, not only am I believing for increase, but I'm also believing for wealth. I'm also believing for harvest, right? And so when I'm looking at believing for harvest and increase, that might take a process. Now, do I pray for it just one time? Do I declare the word just one time? Do I just say it once? Well, I said it. Mm -hmm. She said, I cannot give hearts this morning or likes. I know, Natasha, you in jail. <laughs> you in jail like I'm in jail at Facebook. Y'all, these technology systems ain't no joke. I, love, I don't mean to laugh, Natasha. You know I love you, girl. I'm laughing because I'm in jail with you, so, you know. And I'll be in jail probably again today because I'm going to still do my watch my video with y'all. I'm just saying. Anyway, I want you all to, to know what you're called to do and what God has promised you and you to continue to run after it. You want to make sure you are continually running after what God has promised. And you don't give up, cave in or quit, right? Say we're back in. Yay. So welcome, welcome, ladies. We, uh, If this is your first time, if this is your first time with us, I say give us a one so we can love on you this morning. And we are going to declare the word of God over our finances. We are going to declare the word of God over our finances. We're going to declare God's word and our finances, financial breakthrough. We are going to have what we say. And we're not going to move from it until we see it. That is, the, that is what you should believe. I will not move until I see it. I will not move until I see it. So it becomes very clear that when do I stop praying about it? When do I stop declaring the word over it? When do I let it go? When you see it. That's when you do it. That's when. Mm -hmm. Until you see it, you. Uh -uh. we don't give up, cave in, or quit. Yes, Tam. We are not. And so that being the case, we're going to declare God's word over our finances. We're going to declare that we shall have what we say. And we're going to speak it. And we're going to believe it. And we'll have it because we're going to say it. All right, Periscope. Y'all still there? I don't see any hearts. Y'all good over there? Y'all all right over there? Okay, there y'all go. All right. All right, let's do it, ladies. For those of you, this is your first time. I'll give you a confession and you repeat after me. Y'all ready? Let's do it. Repeat after me. In the name of Jesus, I declare I am in covenant with God. I declare I have the peace of God. Therefore, I am whole. I am complete in every area of my life. I declare that there is nothing missing and nothing broken in my life. I declare I am empowered by God to succeed in everything I put my hands to do. Thank you, Lord, that today I expect my marriage, my job, my family, my business, my finances, and my relationships to be blessed and prosperous. Thank you, Lord, that I too am blessed and prosperous and I am equipped to fulfill <clears throat> your perfect will for my life. Father, in the name of Jesus, 
I thank you for financial favor and increase over my life. I declare that your word says that I can have a 100 fold return on the blessings that I sow into your kingdom. Thank you, Lord, that today I declare blessings, increase, and harvest, they are all mine. Thank you, Lord, that your favor is activated in my life to increase me financially in everything that I do. I declare that today I am debt free. Debt cannot live in my household. I declare that supernatural insight will show up over my finances and I will hear, understand, and follow your guidance so that the blessing of increase for the blessing of harvest, for the blessing of prosperity shall show up over my life. Thank you, Lord, that you have given us the power to get wealth, to establish your kingdom here in this earth so that we may and we shall leave a legacy of greatness to our children's children. Thank you, Father, for daily loading us with your financial blessings that will allow for us to have to make room to receive. Thank you, Father, that today I shall reap a hundredfold harvest just as Isaac sowed and reaped in the same year. Thank you, Father, that today I take authority over my financial future and I speak life into my financial future. Thank you, Father, that finances are flowing in from the north, south, east, and west. I declare I am a money magnet. And I thank you, Lord, that money comes to me in increasing quantities through multiple streams, multiple sources on a continual basis. I thank you, Lord, and I declare I am out of debt. Every financial need I have is met and I have more financial success in store. I thank you, Lord, that today I stand steadfast, unmoved at your promises, Lord. I speak increase and I shall have what I say. I speak harvest and I shall have what I say. I speak overflow and I shall have what I say. Thank you, Lord, that your word never returns void, but it shall accomplish everything it is set and sent out to do. I declare I have seed in the ground and my seed will yield a harvest. Thank you, Father, for the hundredfold harvest for the seed that I have planted. I declare that I shall see what I say in Jesus' name. Financial greatness is mine. Financial stability is mine. Financial freedom is mine. Financial debt free is mine. I thank you, Father, for your favor surrounds me everywhere that I go. Favor in my finances shall show up because I declare it, I believe it, and it is so. In Jesus' mighty name, thank you, Lord, for connecting me to the knowledge, the wisdom, the understanding that I can live a financial 
fruitful life. In Jesus' mighty name. Thank you, Lord. I believe I receive it now. In Jesus' name. Amen. All right, ladies, we are financially fruitful. We shall have what we say. We are declaring that we are money magnets. We are declaring that income comes in from the north, south, east, and west. We declare that we know what to do. We have financial wisdom. We know how to operate financially in this world system. Uh-huh, all that, in Jesus' name. All right, ladies, we are expecting a great and mighty harvest in our finances. All week, expect it. All weekend, expect it. Increase, overflow, breakthrough. Yes, all of that in our finances, in Jesus' mighty name. And so if we speak it, y'all got to believe it. You can't just say it and don't believe it. I need y'all to believe, believe. That you got to believe, right? You got to have faith. All right, ladies. Um, I pray that we will be able to have a successful week next week and that we can have everything that we need to get done with this technology stuff, y'all. We doing what we got to do. We're going to show up. We're going to keep it. We're going to keep going until we see it, right? We're going to believe it until we see it in Jesus' name. For those of you who have not yet been able to give, remember, it is something about being able to sow a seed. We talked about it yesterday, right? There is a difference. There is a difference from increase and harvest. Y'all say y'all want both. Increase and harvest. I want increase and harvest. Yep, I do. Mm-hmm. I want increase and I want harvest. And so if you have not sown yet into our um, crisis hotline, we are believing God that we will be able to meet the need of where it is lacking for our crisis hotline. Um, for those of you who are on Facebook, I just posted the link for you to sow um, so that we are asking that if you can give $13 to help us develop and put together our crisis hotline so that we can meet the need of those that our calls are not being met for those calls that are not being met. And so if you haven't done so already, please click the link that I just placed in here and it allows for you to be able to sow into what we are doing. Yes, you guys, there are more than one leak because there's more than one um, person who is raising funds. All of our leaders are raising funds. Um, you say, I'm not sure where to, I donated. I'm not sure if you donated on one of them, you can. There is more than one link because all of the different chapters ha are raising funds. So you might have sewn on the link that I've done. You might have sewn on someone else's link. As long as you have sewn, that is what is important. As long as you, because it all goes to the same bucket, y'all. It goes to the same bucket. So um, there is more than one link. The link that I've posted is the link that I am posting. Um, each of the leaders are also posting a link. And so as long as you post on one of them, you are good, okay? All right. Love you, ladies. Have a phenomenal Friday, an even better weekend, um, and we will be back on Monday. We'll be back on Monday. If you can, ladies, get one of the links and post it on your Facebook page. So in that way, ask your friends, ask your personal friends to, to help with this effort. It is everybody knows somebody that's dealing with some kind of someone or you personally have dealt with domestic violence. Um, and we want to be able to be a help. Okay. So I'm asking you all, if you can take some time and, and, and share the link if you can. Okay. I love you all. Have a blessed day and we'll be back Monday. Bye y'all.